Hello and what is up everybody? Welcome back to Qantas with Mr. Wells Knight himself. How's Indeed. it going? How's it going, Krillick? It's going great. Oh, man. The house looks beautiful. It's simple, but beautiful. Effective. Yes. So it's we have keeping uh, the rain off my rain off my lid. That's a start. That's a start. I made uh well, we made tools <laughs> right here. Take uh take one of each. Oh boy. Dangerous. Uh oh, I already did make an iron pickaxe, so we can keep those ones. Okay. Well Extra then I will, iron for us. I will toss those in here. Well, I think uh farms and armor. And food, for that matter. Well, food and farms kind of go hand in hand. But I think uh, we are in dire need of a food source. I have six steak left, and then I'm going to starve to death. Yeah, I'm at seven myself. So I 100% agree with you that we need to at least get something growing. Um, what are we going to grow? That is the big question. And how big of a farm should we go with? Well, I mean, like a little simple nine by nine wheat farm could do it. Uh, otherwise, we could get some animals, you know, do uh, like a wheat farm in combination with some cows or something, and that could uh, yeah, you could basically be set there. That might be you the know, way to go. The other one that could be really good is barley. Which is basically um, wheat, right? Yeah, but I think you get like one piece of bread per barley instead of needing three wheat. I'm not sure if that's still a thing or not. I'm just looking through right now to confirm or deny that. Yeah, well, maybe. That could be. That could be it. Who knows? Yeah. Barley flour cooked gives you bread, and one barley equals one barley flour. So that might be a pretty nice uh, solution. So for every barley we harvest, we get a piece of bread. That would be good. Bread, I mean, bread and water isn't exactly, you know, living the high life. No, but, uh, you know, we could make it into toast. That would probably be better. I mean, toast <laughs> and water, certainly better than bread and water. Yeah, yeah. At least there's a little bit of texture there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So Now, where do we want to build it? Do we want to go on this side or? I'm thinking like over here, right? Okay. So yeah. like one, two, three, four... Oh, did you make a bucket? I did. Ah, excellent. I'll have to get one of those at some point here, too. So. Oh, wormies. We got worms. Oh, that, this is a good spot. This that is a good, is a good spot. spot. For sure. I think uh, maybe the hole will manage to do the entire thing. I can't remember if a stone hole will mine out an entire 9x9 by itself, but. It's close, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get the barley here while we're. Oh, I'm standing around watching you hoe dirt. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Another so, worm. Another worm. We're, we're rolling in worms, man. And perfect. Planted in, uh, planted in rows. In row? Yeah, because like, they do a three by three, though. The worms do. The worms do, but... Um, you want plants, the crops plants, in a row? Yeah, plants actually grow faster if they're planted in a row like that. Really? Mm hmm. Is that a vanilla thing? That is a vanilla thing. And then what you huh. can do to make sure you're not wasting space is you can then plant another crop like that. Alternate it, basically. Right. So and, then we uh, can do more barley here. Yep. And then we can do another row of wheat. And then yep. we can do something else on the other side if we want. Exactly. Although. How, how do Wormy? I. Wormy? How... Worm. I think you got to break it. Yeah. There we go. Wormy down, seed down. There okay. we go. Good. So that's going to do that three. Then we'll need another one there and another one there. I got a wormy, so I'll put down wormy. And I got a worm. And there we go. So that will Perf. get uh, that will get started. Yeah, look at that. Stuff growing already. Yep. Awesome. Getting that bone meal action, which is great. Or that extra effect and help grow things faster. Yep. Good Love stuff. It. And then I, um, I wouldn't mind planting some flax seeds as well and the reason being is flax seeds will give us string which could be very useful it could be so we I will think probably we'll be... need uh something like that at some point yeah i think i'll do a little row over on the other side here and we'll set that guy up and i'm going to 
wall off our farm to keep it safe from wandering mobs and things. There yeah, especially because we don't want to die. Yeah. Yeah, that too. You know. <laughs> and then I th minor technicality. <laughs> yeah, minor, very minor. Uh, and then I need a few more torches than that. Where's all of our coal? Is it all in furnaces? I've I think it's all being stored in furnaces, yeah. All right, I'll just make some torches like wow. so. One of the bar, two of the barleys have already grown. Wow. 100%. That's actually super quick. That's awesome. Well, we did say vanilla plus, right? <laughs> we did. This is true. <laughs> there we go. I still, I still can't believe that there's not like stone wall fences. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something that like there totally should be. How is that not a mod for one? And for two, how is that not vanilla? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, we're still waiting on slabs and stairs for like half the yeah. blocks in the game, so I wouldn't True get enough. your hopes up too much, you know? True enough. There we go. Yeah. That this should seems, be lit up well enough. This seems very lucrative. I like our farm already. And then last but not least... Um... We'll go like that. And like that. Perfect. And that way everything is lit up. And lit up enough that it will continue to grow even at night if we're like caving underground or something. Yeah, so. that's a big thing too. Because that's when we're going to use most of our food, probably. Probably. Yep. Man, I can't believe how fast some of this stuff's growing. There we it's go. Crazy. It's okay, crazy. Okay, so that's all good. Now, is there... Do we have like a, a sickle or a scythe? Ooh, good question. Let's uh, just see. Stickles. We yes. do have stickles. Uh, st stickles. Oh, yeah, we totally we can't have build them though. We can't build them. Probably locked behind an age. Locked behind an age. Mm. Yeah. What about a scythe? Only the ones from Tinkers, which we also can't build. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was worth checking. We're going hand mode. <laughs> do it old school, manual style. We got to get a farmer villager in here. Get him to work. Right? Yeah, there is also the option, you know, with the water bucket. Although it's not really my favorite option. No, mine neither. But but yeah, some... this barley seems to be growing very fast, faster than the wheat. It looks like, which is good. There we go. Got some. Whew. Those water updates. <laughs> All right, so we, you know, that worked relatively well. I don't know that, uh, I, I still feel like that's probably more trouble than it's worth to do it with water buckets. Yeah, by water. I think it, I agree with you. I think it's more, more of a problem than it is a solution. Yeah, some people swear yeah. by it, but eh. I'll do it if the old you set them up right and get the redstone and stuff in, I, I think that it can work out well for you, but. Oh yeah, if you set up like a designated farm to have water do it for you, then sure. Yeah. Like definitely, but uh, it's just kind of thrown together you're trying to like mine out a plane or something mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i just realized oh. this you goof it up this row is wheat yeah. there we go barley in the middle yep okay. and there we go okay so we got our wheat going we got our barley going do you have any more wormies or i do i have five you have five Ooh, i was gonna say no and then down. i looked at my inventory and realized that i have five of them Right there. So there's that one. This one is gonna and be. I think centered. it's this right here. It, we we will miss a few blocks. It's that one. No, because that guy's right there. Yeah. One, two, three. Right. Yeah. He's covering this, this three, and this one's covering this three. I mean, it's a nine by nine, so. No, no, he's got to be over one. I think he's one block too far over. No. No. In this empty spot. Yeah. That's where that's where I put him. Oh, okay. I think. Maybe not. He seems to be traveling. <laughs> can I re get can I pick the worm back up? I think you break the dirt. Oh. Or not. Now he's just gone forever. Gone forever? Rip worm. <laughs> oh well. We can get more. We yeah. know where they live. This we is know true. where they live. Till the dirt, <laughs> get the worms. It's all good. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to make a few torches and try and get some iron. There's like a nice little cave, actually a relatively large cave, like over here. Okay. 
yeah, I think I'll uh, go do a little bit of mining, keep going on my mine shaft that I've started up uh, to get us deeper. And I think I'm gonna skip basically everything that isn't like iron or coal. That's my kind of philosophy too. So maybe far. copper. Copper actually could be useful because copper we're gonna use relatively early. Yeah, I mean we'll definitely need some copper and tin and gold and stuff once we get into uh, tinkers. Yeah. Hey, iron, sweet. So I think we'll do iron, copper, and that's basically it. And yeah, and probably coal. some tin, tin and coal at some point. Oh, there that's a creeper as well. Go away. Ah, he heard that one. Yeah, he didn't go away, but he didn't get me either. So it's okay. Oh, I'm in. I'm in one piece. Wow, there's a ton of iron over here. Oh, Some good. of it's like poor man's iron, but hey, uh, you know, if you dig into it, like I said, uh, you can dig into that. So each one of those gives us two. Uh, I think it's two iron nuggets when smelted. So it's not that bad, all things considered. Well, considering you need nine iron nuggets to make a single iron ingot, like, yeah, I don't think that's really worth it. No, not not while we're still on coal fuel. Yeah. A little usually, bit later on, smelting them up in the Tinker's smeltery or something, it might be worthwhile. Yeah. There's a fair amount of actual iron over here, though, too, so I think we'll be good. The goal is to get enough iron for both of us to have armor. Yeah. At least by the end of this episode. Come here, Creeper. I see you. Those guys. Those are the problem. That's the whole reason we need armor right there. Them creepers. creepers and skeletons. Yeah, and skeletons too. Yeah, they're also pretty nasty. Ah, yeah, there's a ton of iron, but this is all... This Got is all em. poor man's iron. I don't want poor man's iron, I want actual iron. We want the good Ooh. stuff. Ooh, I did find... Like, it gets your hopes up so much, because you see all the <laughs> iron texture, and you're like, wow, it's everywhere, and then you realize that, like, yeah. it's not it's everywhere, quite. but there's, it's not really that great. <laughs> like, it's not that much iron, you know? No, it's sadly not. But it is still better than nothing. True. Ooh, lapis lazuli. Nice. Used for enchanting. That will be very useful for us. We're going to want to get an enchanting table like ASAP. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I, I, it's usually one of those ones that I tend to avoid. Um in modded you know and you end up getting it later or something because a lot of the times you can get really good armors and and whatnot so you don't need to enchant anything but yeah we well, don't have that option yeah i mean tinkers pretty much makes regular vanilla enchanting just like obsolete you know there's really no reason exactly. for it maybe for armor but certainly not for tools but since we don't have tinkers until the next age which you probably won't start until like next week um yeah. You know, I'm thinking enchanting tables. Definitely going to be something we're going to want. Yeah, I think so, too. That was a good point. I like it. Especially if we do want to, like, you know, push some of our vanilla progression, maybe. You know, like, are we going to kill the dragon uh, in vanilla? Who knows? Right? Yeah, I mean, it is possible to, like, speed run the dragon. And, and, you know, it is possible to, like, kill the dragon within a couple hours of actually starting the Minecraft world. But it's also just very not worth it. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> so I'm not super concerned with the dragon. Um, the only reason I say the dragon is there might be ender lilies there. That is true. For a good source of ender pearls. But the thing is, you want a good source of ender pearls. And if you can get to the end, like, just make a vanilla enderman farm. You'll have true. ender pearls for days. Like That is definitely true. You know? You'll have more ender pearls than you know what to do with. So maybe yeah, what you'll we be should throwing do, them all over the place. <laughs> maybe what we should do, since we're recording these first up uh, these first couple episodes, you know, at once, um, but then we're not gonna be recording again until people have had a chance to see them. Maybe what we should do is leave it to the viewers. You know, like what Ooh. what is our our uh, our checkpoint, our goal or our, our benchmark for like where we advance to the next age. Yeah, you know what I mean. Maybe Just we do leave yeah. uh, leave some suggestions for us, and we'll you know choose what we like and be, and go with that. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, that's a great idea. I like that idea. And uh, yeah, they can. Maybe we can pick an easy one, or maybe we can pick a hard one. 
depending yeah. on the age as well and what's available to us it could be really awesome yeah like what's the benchmark just let us uh, we'll do it that way we'll say we'll look at comments we'll figure out uh, you know we'll we'll decide based on the comments what the best suggestion is for like our benchmark to what do we need to accomplish to advance to the next stage because i don't i don't really I, I have to admit when it comes to packs like this i don't really like the idea of of gating progression specifically to a clock you know mm. because uh, even even two weeks of game time, maybe you don't accomplish much in that two weeks. Maybe you spent the entire two weeks just out exploring and, and looking for the right place to build, you know? Yeah. Looking for yep. a place to call home, and you don't actually get anything done. And then it's like, oh, well, it's time to advance, you know? So I, I like the idea of gating progression more to, like, a, a goal, you know? Yeah, I, I think that's a really good idea. I really do. And um, I, in before, the first person's like, uh, you need to kill a wither in the first week and then you can advance <laughs> withers not that hard actually i mean you were just talking uh, about killing the ender dragon the ender dragon's harder to kill than the wither is it harder now i i've not killed the ender dragon since it's been redone in a vanilla environment yeah i'd say the ender dragon is probably harder i mean the thing is like with the wither you can totally just cheese the wither and do it That's in such true. a way that you can't even take damage like you can spawn it in the nether so it gets stuck in the bedrock ceiling and yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh basically kills itself um yeah that's true that's true whereas so, dragon's definitely out in the open yep um but i mean if you can if you can get a, a, a dragon you can get a wither like it's it's not too bad okay yeah see i mean that's one of those things like i've been a little bit away from the vanilla game uh, rip pickaxe and when you and when you play all the uh, the mods, you kind of lose track of the general progression that is vanilla Minecraft. Oh, for sure. And they change it. You know, I mean, yeah, the the sense of the what what is entailed with the progression often changes as well. Did I put my torches on the wrong side, or am I just? <laughs> Are you on left-handed mode or right-handed mode? Shame right on mode? me! I always put my torches on the right side or on the uh, the left side. No, the right side. As you're going farther into a cave, because then you can find your way back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, except... Am I lost? This is like the second episode. It's way too early for me to be lost <laughs> in a cave. Oh, no, here we go. We're good. I was going to chuckle. I'm slowly uh, losing chuckling. my mind. I'm slowly losing my mind. Like, it's it's happening. This is my slow well, descent into insanity. You're probably just playing way too much Minecraft, and uh, all your worlds start blending into one a little bit. <laughs> that definitely does happen occasionally. Like, there are, there have absolutely been times when I'm like, wait, was that in this series, or was that in the other one? What do you mean I don't oh, have a whatever sure. farm? Oh, yeah, that's right, I built that on Hermitcraft, not in my single player, or, or you know, or whatever <laughs> happens all the yeah. time. What do you mean I don't have a jetpack yet? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's for sure. It happens all the time. It's good times, though. It's good times. Okay, right. so we have an insane amount of poor iron ore. Yeah. Which is yeah, it, not exactly it might be worth ideal. It, it might be worth it to save it for once we do get, like, tech or a better way to process it. Yeah, you know, possibly. When, when like hey, we set up a solar panel or something, and all of a sudden now it's free power, then it's worth it, right? Yeah, although, let's see. So you get two nuggets per poor iron ore, right? Let's let's mm -hmm. double check this. So smelting, yeah, two nuggets. So two nuggets equal, uh, so basically that's going to be four, roughly four uh, ore, per iron ingot a little bit less than that yeah and we need a total of i think it's 26 iron to make full armor i think or that's something right. like that or maybe that's have, full armor and tools i have 34 iron ore on me right now hmm. so we're looking pretty good we should have enough if we were to smelt up all the some of the poor all of the poor Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's more poor here that I could mine. I just kind of left it. Yeah, I think I'm going to head back into the mines. You know, we'll, we'll try this again. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I came up here because my pick broke. Ha! I remember. Oh. Setbacks. Yeah. yeah, I'll get a little bit more. I think I, I think we're better off saving that poor until we basically get free power somehow. 
I think you're probably I think you're probably right. Oh, and we it's have 14 just... iron ingots in our chest, actually, so we should be good. Oh, okay. Um, good. I, I'll go grab a little bit of ore that I saw that was, like, exposed. Like, easy. I, I remember where it is. There was a, a little okay. vein of it, and then we should hopefully have enough that we can... If you have 34, and I've got, yeah, know, I got a fair amount now. as well, we should be good. So I'm a mining master right now, so... The For machine. whatever reason, I'm finding all the things. Hey, no <laughs> complaints here. <laughs> Look at that, more. Sweet. I've even got some gold already, so... Oh, nice. That's actually yeah. going to come very much in handy when we do uh, Tinkers. Yeah, Tinkers, I'm not sure when some of the other stuff opens up, but uh, there's a lot Did of I... lot of mods that use gold. I feel like I went way too far. So yeah, how many totally mod packs have you played in 110.2 so far? Um, that's a great question. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah. Because I know a few, you... Quite a few. You played I, a lot in 1.7. I played a lot in 1.7. I mean, I started playing 1.10 packs, basically, as soon as 1.10 packs came out. Okay. So I know I played Hermit Pack. That was 1.10.2. I played... Um... Let's see... You were Beyond. Beyond. Beyond, yeah, that's the one. That's one ten two, and oh no, I'm not out of torches. Okay, oh hi skeleton with an enchanted bow. Oh, the worst. Get dead. There we go. It's dead. We're good. Safety. Yeah, it's just it's interesting because I know that they're already pushing to uh, one twelve. Yeah. Uh, for modding, which is really awesome. Yep. I love them trying to stay as much up to date as possible, but totally. At the same agree. time, I love. I love having big fleshed out mods, you know, where, mm -hmm. with lots of options and stuff. So yeah, there's know, pros and cons to fine, both for sure. Find balance for sure. So yeah, for sure. I mean, I think uh, pretty much without a doubt, the best version for modding in general was one seven ten, just because it was uh, it was it was the most realistically the most current version for so long because so yeah. many mods just never updated to one point eight because. Minecraft changed so much stuff, and it would have been such a task to to update. Exactly. So, for a long time, one seven was just kind of like the version for modded Minecraft, and it you know as a result, there were so many different mods, and that's gonna explode in my face. Okay, we're good, we're okay. I'm in one piece. I've survived. Don't worry. Um, wow. So that was great, but I mean, at the same time, it's nice to have the newest features in the vanilla game especially as someone like uh, especially for someone like myself who plays a lot of vanilla minecraft you know yeah, it's weird to go of... to modded and be in an old version where you don't have these vanilla things that you have in vanilla was, yeah you know a lot of luxuries i even uh we fired up a 147 who hack the other day and it's i mean you got to think about that there is no you know you can't even slide uh, drag to craft mm -hmm. right and it's like oh my god I can't minecraft anymore yeah <laughs> yeah I know what you mean I mean I remember starting in I I, I want to say I started playing modded in 164 um, and like even the difference between that and 1710 you know because 1710 was such yeah. a big update for minecraft like there was so many changes yeah yeah no okay. I agree it's a uh pretty pretty interesting but uh, i'm really looking forward to you know there's been a lot of great devs and stuff like that at work which you know i'll just say right now uh big thanks to the devs you know they do a lot of work so that we get to play these fun things mm -hmm. and uh you know it's one of those things and we it's gotta, appreciated appreciate them yep. for sure it's definitely appreciated i couldn't i i, I owe minecraft my livelihood Pretty much, yeah. Oh no, I'm out of food and I'm underground. This is uh oh, this is problematic. Okay. Well, I'm starting to cook up some bread. So okay. I'm not panicking. Ooh. I'm slowly. No, don't panic. Where are you at? I can come save you. I have no food and I am not lost. Okay, we're good. I, I'm on my way back. I'll have enough to make to make it uh, okay. back to the house. How yeah, much I'm iron did I get? 15 more iron. Eh, that's not bad for like a five minute mining session. Yeah, I'm cooking up uh, 48 right now. So 
Okay, so yeah, we will definitely have enough for both of us to have iron gear. Which will be very helpful. If I can navigate these caves. There we go. <laughs> the jumping. It's just constant, you know? Oh, you, you should just put on auto jump then, right? Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> <laughs> don't even get me started on that one. You know, I wouldn't have any problem with the auto jump feature whatsoever if it just wasn't enabled by default. Like, if it was an option that you had to manually enable, yeah, I would have... It shouldn't be auto on. Yeah, I would have no yeah. issue whatsoever, but I can't even tell you the number of times that I've, like, loaded <laughs> up a new world, got into a, my first recording, and then been like, ah, auto jump. <laughs> like, auto it jump. happens all the time. I will say one thing. Uh, they definitely messed that up because the modded version of Step Assist and stuff like that was done so much better. Oh, yeah. Step uh, Assist is, like, amazing. For sure. Day, so, okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got 22, 22. Allow me to make us as much yeah. armor as I can. I'll just, oh, hey, do, no, do the thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Goes Wait. very fast when there's two of us, so. Yep. And boots, and what am I missing? I need four more iron, which is in the furnace. There we go. Full armor. Perfect. For you and me. Awesome. So I just planted a row of rice, and then we have the flax out there as well. Um, so I'm not sure if you're familiar, but rice we can actually use for paper. And I believe, I think we can even use it as well for slime balls. Uh, I believe you are correct. Or oh, And sugar. Sugar once we get a crusher. So... So we Very need, useful. We will need paper for enchanting. Uh, we need mm -hmm. we need diamonds as well. We still haven't found diamonds. We'll have to do that. Uh, but we got our farm. We got our armor. I think we are in good shape, and I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode. Yeah, I think we did fantastically well. Progress! Things are happening. We're, we're making Indeed. progress in our adventures. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description down below. Make sure you check out Krillic. Or if you're watching on Krillik's channel, make sure you come see me. I'm not, I'm friendly. I don't bite. Um, well, maybe a little. Maybe a little, but hey, you know, it's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you, everybody.